During its first week, the Synod will focus on the many challenges that families face every day. There are 29 reflections collected in the first chapter of the so-called working document to guide bishops and experts in their meetings. Based on what was said at the Extraordinary Synod, which discussed the challenges, the first part will examine some of these problems. From there, it will serve as a building block for the second week, which deals with vocations, and then the third week, which deals with the mission. Bishops are analyzing the underlying reasons for the high number of separations and divorce. They are also looking for ways to counteract the fear that stops young couples from getting married. Also on the list are the challenges posed by radical feminism and gender theory. The Synod is also looking into the challenges of families living in difficult economic situations, problems such as unemployment, low wages and the lack of decent work that leads some families to social exclusion. In a difficult and complicated world with many positive values but also with difficulties, I think that close and personalized support for families is the biggest contribution we can give. Bishops are evaluating the best way to help children and the elderly who are often pushed to the margins of society. The Synod will also look at the role families play in easing the social challenges triggered by massive immigration. The final topic for this week is also quite relevant. The bishops and 18 married couples will look into how individuals can find affection, stability and support within their family life.